Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're going to be talking about Bellatro in a little bit of a different light today. Because today, or actually, well I guess yesterday technically, Bellatro had actually been delisted from a lot of storefronts, as you can see in this, uh, in this title. And I don't, I'm just going to go through this article. I actually watched a Ludwig video and he was talking about it. And I, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. It kind of feels like a little, just, I don't know. It seems really, it seems just ridiculous. But yeah, I'll just go through this article and kind of explain what has happened. But yeah, so I've obviously played Velocera a lot on this channel. It's one of my favorite games to play, and I I, I love it. It's so, it's so fun, and it's, just, it's amazing. But yeah, so it says, um... So it's not a problem with the stores themselves. A reaction to an overnight change to Blotcher's age rating from 3 plus to 18 plus by a ratings board without any advance warning due to a mistaken belief that the game contains prominent gambling imagery and material that instructs about gambling. If we go further down in the article, it says Playstack discussed um, with, I guess, PEGI um, in uh, just discussed with them in October of 2023 before initially assigning the game. So it originally been giving a three plus rating, and then overnight it was changed from three plus to eighteen plus with no warning or anything like that. So then, so then it was removed from you know a bunch of like it was banned in a lot of countries, removed from storefronts, um. And then they're saying, uh, and then Playstack says, uh, it cannot uh, estimate with complete confidence which stores it will be removed from or give a timeline for when the issues will be resolved. It says, thankfully, those who have already purchased Bellatro in an impact region will be able to re-download and play it even after it's been taken off digital storefronts. So yeah, it's so ridiculous that this has been, that this has even happened. And I'll, I'll kind of go into, like, I guess, the, maybe, like, the reasons um, the uh, developer for the game actually kind of brings it up and talks about, like, the possible um, reasons as to why this has happened. Um, but yeah, and it still sports an E10 plus rating from the ES, uh, ESRB for gambling themes. So the rating board... Which gives it an 18 plus. Gives it an E10 plus. In a, diff, in a different category. Maybe I'm misunderstanding this article. But that's what I'm learning from this. That's, that's what I'm getting from this. Is that in a different category. It gives the game an, an E10 plus. But in the cat, but in like, but in the rating, the age rating for the game, for the actual game itself, it gives it an eighteen plus. I mean, it shouldn't even be in gambling, anyways, because there is no gambling theme. I mean, I guess it's a gambling theme, but there is no gambling aspect to it, and there, there's no nothing about it that encourages gambling. Like it even says here. And place that explained in a message on X, Blotcher does not allow or encourage gambling, and we fundamentally fundamentally believe the ratings decision is unfounded. Blotro was developed by someone who is staunchly anti-gambling. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. And painstaking care has been taken to ensure that the game does not feature gambling of any kind. So there is no gambling. It may have like a gambling gambling theme to it because of the poker hands. But there's no actual gambling to it. There's no microtransactions. There's no money. You buy the game for like $15 plus maybe like an extra couple dollars or whatever for taxes. And then you get the game and then you can play it as much as you want and you don't have to pay. You don't have to. There's no money invested afterwards. You can't earn money from it unless you make videos, I guess. But you don't. There's no direct source of income from the game and you don't lose any money for from the game either. There's no, there's no risk of money loss or money gain or anything like that when it comes to the game. So it makes no sense to say that there, so that it contains. Well, I mean, I guess gambling imagery, 
But there, but what material instructs about gambling? There's none. Um, and then the and that just kind of compares it to another game, another gambling uh, themed game that was removed. But yeah, we can go to local Thunk, which who he's the actual um, developer of the game. It says I do not condone gambling, staking something personally valuable on an uncertain event, nor do I believe that Bellatro contains gambling. I did add, add risk slash reward mechanics and RNG to Bellatro, but those are core mechanics to the genre at large. So yeah, it's like. There's plenty of games. You know, you have Bellatro, uh, Hades, Play the Spire, uh, Dead Cells, uh, <laughs> Backpack here, back, uh, Backpack Battles. You have a ton of games that have RNG, risk and reward mechanics. Do all, Are all those games now considered gambling games? Like, it, like if you're saying it's because of R, uh, RNG and risk and reward mechanics... Then those games are inherently gambling sorts of, sorts of games, but if it's if that's not the part that you're mad at, and you're mad at the art, at the poker, like or the the gambling theme of the game, then why are you giving it an E10 plus rating? Do you, do you see that where the confusion is? And then, and then Lugwig obviously. Uh, you know, replies, the game got removed for promoting gambling. That crazy, I hope it's resolved swiftly. So, you know what? You know what game we're going to be playing today? You should already know by the title of the video. We're going to be playing Bellatro. So, let, let me uh, get the game up. And, well, I already had it up, you know. Um, but, we're going to be playing with the Ghost deck today. Spectre cards may appear in the shop. Start with a hex card. And yeah, this is one of my favorite decks to use. And you know what? I screw the people that are at the at that rating board. We're just going to play the game and we're going to have some fun. And, uh, and yeah, let's get right into this. So right off the bat, I would love to get a full house. And we can actually get that. And I think that's enough. Uh, 14, 21, 24, 27, that's 67 times 4, that is not enough. Gosh dang it. Cause that's like 240, 268, yeah. So, not enough. We could get it with the, with the 7s, but we are gonna need another card, like a, okay, 10. Does that give me it? That's 21, 31, 41, that's 81 times 4, that's 326. Yep, yeah, that's or twenty-four. My bad. I don't know where I got the six from. But yeah, three hundred and twenty-four. Okay. Uh, perk and second hand played without a common or, or without a scoring face card. Well, what is the the next one? Is if I skip a if I skip, I get a tarot card. Gains plus 10 chips if played hand contains a straight. Ooh. That is some early on scaling that I could go for. What happens if I do minus one anti right now? Do I go to zero? I go to zero out of eight? What happened? What happens at zero out of eight? Oh. Oh. Well, that's cool. Lose out on one hand, which kind of sucks, but. Um, oh, that would be great to have. Mm, let's just do this, because otherwise I'm going to be losing out on um, a tarot card, and I don't really want to do that. So let's just convert 
that into that, and then we will go with converting things into spades. We'll go down that route. All hard cards are debuffed. Okay, so uh, uh, I, we unlocked a, uh, a a new anti that I didn't even think. Can you go to negative? Did you have negative anti? I'm curious. Okay, let me just get a. I mean, honestly, anything would probably really work. Um, I don't really need a lot of points. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll go with the straight, and the straight by itself almost gets me enough points. Yeah, I mean, I don't really need much for this. Yeah, I mean, sadly, I do have minus one hand for the rest of the game, but it was it was an interesting thing to, you know, come across, you know, I'm... Play face cards, give plus four multiplier. Uh... This would be really nice, but... Dang. That's also good, though. Both of these are good. I want... I want... Can I have both? I want both. <sighs> um... I want everything. I want everything here. Is there any, any way I can get everything? What's going to be better? Probably this. Um. Please don't destroy the aces. Please don't destroy the... Okay. Wow, so there is... Okay. We have some wiggle room here to do things. I could go for... I could go for spades. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do instead. Go for a f oh yeah, flush house. Twenty dollars, yes, please. Thank you, game. Appreciate that. Already, we're doing. We're we're in a good good situation so far. And I can double my money. Get another twenty dollars. Um. Reduces by one every round. Let's reduce everything by like was it, is it like twenty five percent or something like that. That'll be nice. Plus five hand size. Um, sure. We we could buy that. I mean, it reduces by one every round. Um, so after a few rounds, it's gonna you know, obviously not do anything, but. Let's get rid of, like, everything that isn't a spade. Da, 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 straight flush. I kind of, I'm just going to have to kind of take advantage of the fact that I have, like, a lot of money. And that's what I'm going to have to kind of rely on right now. I'm pretty okay with getting a Joker. And then just having this get destroyed. Create a random... Rare Joker sets money to zero. Uh, let me get the tarot card first. It's three into. Yeah, let's go with the spade. And we could convert those into like. Or no, I'll go with that as a wild card. I think that's a 
good position. I mean, let's see if plate hand contains a straight. Honestly, I'm probably gonna buy it just to sell, or like just to sell it, and then. I should have done this first. Eh, whatever. Zero dollars though? Do I want it? Is that worth it? No. You know what? No. Let's grab that. See what we get. Okay. Don't really like it. Um... I mean, I can still get the flush house if I, like, actually try to go for it. That's just a flush. Gosh dang it. Um, well I can at least do something like this, I guess. And then try to get a ten of spades. Do I still have a ten of spades? No. Dang it. Okay. Well. Whatever. I'll just go for the flush. Go for the best. Wow, that was a devilish number. I did have a 10. Was it really? I guess I just... <sighs> I don't think it would have mattered anyways, though. Let's go for the flush. Okay, we'll be in a we'll be in a good spot. This turtle bean definitely gonna end up getting rid of it sometime soon, because yeah, it's not really gonna do me any good. Each king. Oh, that's a good one. Um, hold on. I think I'm gonna sell these both off. Give this guy that. Apply that to him, and then I could go with this. It'll create two uh, random jokers, two common jokers, so I could get something good. This it, this would be considered a heart. I play this. So I can play this. It'll be considered a heart. And I can play it as a flush. Yeah, and so I get plus four from that. Then I get that. And there we go. Nice. It worked out. It worked out. And I got all my money for the discards. There we go. Uh, for each remaining card in deck. And how much does this sell for? It just sells for one? Okay. Well. Let's see. Wild 
clubs. Yeah, let's turn him into a wild. Or, oh, okay, it creates that. My bad, my bad. Um, do I want to keep that? Do I mean Lusty Joker? Let me get rid of it. Let's see what we get for our spectral cards. Minus one hand size. Let's go for it. Oh, but it juices. Here's level of played poker hand. Ew. That is not good. Uh. So I could do that and I get a flush, but then it's going to decrease the level of the flush. Do I want to decrease the level of the flush? Not really. But what else can I do? Um, unless I go for like two pair, then I keep the king of spades in hand. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll just go for the two pair. I think that that'll be the strategy. Try to go for a queen. Or I guess three of a kind would work as well. I'll probably have Apply that to that, sure. So I could get a flush house here, but I'm gonna just do three of a kind. Do I wanna do three of a kind? I'm really debating on what I wanna do here. Do I just wanna go for two pair? Not really. I'm gonna go three, three of a kind. I'll go three of a kind. Decrease the level of the three of a kind, but it's fine. Oh wait, did that not... I guess that didn't... Never mind, okay. That works fine then. Didn't even need to use my discards. I didn't really... I guess if you beat it, then it doesn't count it, which is okay. Um... Let's just let's really just decrease the level of our of our ante. I mean, we're going we're going backwards in time. Um, I could get that. Do I want to or do I want to go for that? Oh, it's incompatible. Oh, oh, leftmost Joker. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, that's oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Should been paying attention to what things do. Okay, let me get rid of the ice cream one. Do I want to do it this way? Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Um. That's just considered a flush anyways, okay. Um. Yeah, I could do it that way. And then, they'll give 60 per. Yeah, so they're gonna give a ton of points for that. Oh wait, and I did have to use this card, so I don't get any extra money, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. It's fine. Still getting, you know, we're still getting a bunch of money and interest. Um... If we have a lot of spades, I think that would actually be better to have... 
Now this thing is, this riffraff one is kind of becoming a little unnecessary, but it's fine. Just discard all those. Oh yeah, okay. Let's play the flush then. It's something pretty crazy. Could be crazier, but it's fine. May need to end up actually selling this, even though it does have the negative on it. But. Then again, what else am I gonna what am I gonna switch it out with? It's not like I can actually switch it out for anything. Um I'll probably sell that actually. Uh oh wait, I can only choose one. Yeah, per enhanced card played, removes card enhancement. Yeah, let me grab the vampire then. Let me get a playing card. See you, uh None of y'all have any enhancements. Okay. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, actually, I'll do that, uh, because otherwise there's not really any point. Uh, or I'll do that, actually. Because then I'm gonna get the thing that makes it so that, uh, then it's gonna get plus eight for the multiplier instead of just plus four each time. So that's gonna have a bigger effect which with the Baron. He's gonna get the plus or the times 1.5. Enhanced yeah see there we go basically um, let's look at a playing card. <laughs> Should have probably actually grabbed the spade now that I'm thinking about it. But, it's fine. It's one selected card in hand. Oh my gosh, it destroyed. Uh, okay, actually, actually, that's not that bad. Add to one selected card in hand. Uh, let's, uh, let's apply it to that then. That become foil? Okay. Play only one hand. Oh, okay. Um, this is, this is interesting. Yeah, this is definitely something. Um,. This is a little nerve-wracking. Probably want to do that. Uh, can I do that? <laughs> Does that work? I'll get plus eight for this, plus eight for this. Is that... Maybe that is better. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I guess, I guess that probably is actually better. Oh wait, it, no it's not, Never mind. Oh gosh dang it. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Okay, that was a little scary. Each blade. Oh, honestly, that's a pretty good one actually. I'll take it. All kinds of packs are 50% are off? Bro, oh, everything gonna be cheap. 
playing cards are two dollars. Wait, does that remove? So does that remove it if I do that? Maybe it does. I guess we'll find out. I hope it does. That'd be pretty cool. Get that. Um. What was that? Oh, I should have. Okay, well, whatever. It's gonna get removed, so it's fine. Be nice. Good points. Could have been better, but it's fine. Yeah, I should have put that on something. I didn't even. Didn't even think about it. First, uh, yeah, let's go with this. I'd love something to, like, you know, create a bigger hand size or something like that. Uh, more spades? I could do that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, I'll just create... Just turn those into spades, why not? That ends up being a six of spades anyway, so. Go for it. Okay, we could grab that. Because even though it doesn't really do anything for me, I mean, it's still like, I could still have it. Okay. So we're gonna do that. Yeah, it's gonna remove it from those. It does suck that it loses the lucky card, but it's fine. Or at least increasing the multiplier for the vampire, which is gonna be really nice. We actually have a pretty good. I, I, it's not perfect, but we have a we have a pretty good setup so far. Rich empty Joker slot. Uh, and, like that is that could be good, but I'm not gonna go for it. Get the free Mega Buffoon pack. Choose two of up to four Joker cards. We get two of those. I'm not sure if we're going to get a good Joker, though. Uh, add a permanent copy. See, the thing is, that... Uh, all of these are pretty good. Played face cards to plus 30. Gain destroy a random Joker. Oh, oh madness, good... You know what? You know I'm risking it. I'm risking it. We're gonna go for something crazy. Late face cards give. You know we're gonna go with this. We're going for craziness. And should I go DNA? I could just go DNA. I don't know. I feel like um. I feel like I'm going to be causing some problems. It's fine. Let's see what else we got, though. Okay, those were pretty bad. Yeah, see, the problem is then you can get, you can get stuff that's like... Oh, that got removed. That's not... Okay. Well, I should have probably expected that with, you know, the, this thing being the way it is. Um, let's just 
go with this. Oh wait, that actually did the opposite. That actually destroyed the one thing I didn't want it to destroy. Because that was the one thing that was actually providing some level of scalability to this madness card. Oh my gosh, it actually, or, or this madness joker. It destroyed the one thing I did not want it to destroy. Uh, at least everything's really cheap, so we could just like buy back a joker if we want. Or like buy, buy another joker. Um, whenever we kind of want. Uh... Oh, wait, uh... For, yeah, we'll build it to a while. How did I end it? Oh, yeah, because of the game's card. That's right. For... I don't have anything that has... Actually, let me grab that. Because the madness... Okay, so the madness is going to destroy other jokers. And then I could have the hex to apply the madness to this after it's destroyed all the other jokers. So, if I play the stone card... Does that... It does remove it. Okay. I was curious if it, if it would actually do that. Okay, now... We need to actually try to get something good. We got a flush. This should hopefully be good. I mean, it will be. But it's just a matter of... Can we get a win with it? Oh, got close. Last hand, it'll remove both of those. Yep, okay, good. Yeah, this madness, madness thing is gonna cause us some problems, but it's gonna be fine. We're gonna hope for the best. Please don't destroy anything that's actually gonna be useful for us. Slot, I'll take it. Uh, spectral card. Sure. Lucio. One select a card in your hand. Uh. Yeah, let's just create two hands of spades, I guess. Have more spades going. Okay, destroyed that. Okay, yep. We're in a bit of a predicament right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's just turn that into a lucky card, I guess. And then we could try to go for like a king or a nine would have been nice, but it's fine, I guess. Remove that from those. It's actually not too bad. Pretty good score. Okay, now we can go for a flush. Yeah, our 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 <laughs> we're not looking too good. Um But we'll see what happens. Things are gonna get pretty crazy. I already know they are. This madness joker is probably is really gonna screw us over, but you know, I have I have hope that things can go all right for us. Okay, two copies. I mean, it basically would do the same thing as creating two copies. At least with that, I can. Guarantee that after it gets removed, then I end up with 
um, spades instead of just something like that. That was your money? Ooh. At yeah, $100? Thank you. What's it gonna remove now? Uh, okay. That thing was actually pretty good for us, but it's fine. Play the flush. It's gonna get removed, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter that I got removed. this we're not gonna get a huge score from this but I'm hopeful that we're at least gonna get something good right we're gonna get enough yep okay yeah this madness joker has uh, kind of screwed us over immensely we have a lot of money though so let's see what we can do with it okay basically nothing um, let's see what we're gonna get. Uh, polychrome. Destroy is two selected. Honestly, I don't need that. Okay, that's fine. That's honestly fine. We have a random joker destroy all other jokers. Is it, is it going to destroy itself, though? And destroy a random joker? It probably would. So, you know what? You had a good run. You had a good run. We're going to give that to you. And then we're going to create a copy of him. So then we have... Two of those, and then we'll grab that, we'll grab this to make rerolls cheaper. We'll try to get, I don't know, anything that I can get at this point. Create a rare, random rare joker. Trading card and deck. Now I can start, like, actually getting some jokers that are gonna do stuff. Let's just, like, start using some of these, uh, these things that are showing up. One free reroll per shop. It has already been played this round. So I can get a free roll reroll. For a unique card. So we can get rid of that now. Play cards with suit give plus 50 chips and scored. See anything else? Okay. Okay, things are Things are not looking very good right now. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Completely honest. Things are looking a little, a little hectic. We're gonna be, we're gonna just hope for the best here. We're hoping for the best. We can play those and add more to the vampire stuff. Oh, does it only, it only does it for one, oh no. That is not what I wanted to see. I mean, I actually, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. Like, it still, it still goes well. Um. Wow. Um. Go with the spade, I guess, but geez, I was really hoping I could get something a little bit better than that. Give me a flush. Flush would be nice. Not flush house, but I'll go for flush house anyways. Let's see. Plus one hand size. That would be amazing. I would love plus one hand size. 
Hard Shark is kind of useless as well. I don't really want it. Um. Okay, planet card. I mean, the planet cards are one dollar, so I mean, I might as well start using them. Sugar gains plus three chips for discarded spade card. Suit changes everything. I mean, why not? I have so many spades. Like. Repair by three levels. Oh, wait, that's actually a. That's just a straight flush right there. So I could do that. Probably gonna put bonus card on those. I might even just play the pair just to have that get removed. I could have discarded it, but. Alright, yeah, let me go for the straight flush. Straight flush is gonna get me it easily. Yeah, I mean, with how many points I'm getting from this, which is crazy. Yeah. 190,000. I am surprised that we're still alive with how this run has been going. I don't know how I've managed to just ruin the hand, bring it back, ruin the hand, bring it back. Each played nine of hearts, gifts, and scored. Card changes are perfect. But yeah, somehow we've managed to just ruin everything and then have it all just somehow come back. Um, yeah, let's just do that. I could have done it with the ace, but I feel like there's more synergy with uh, with like the face cards because you get the flush house possibility of that happening, so I like that. All face cards are drawn face down. Well, um, that's wonderful. Um, that is absolutely just wonderful. No idea which of these is a spade. Um, Yeah, that was not good. Oh, we got a, we, I mean, we got two pair. I'm surprised that we made it that far. We don't have a really good multiplier, I'm noticing. But something that's already been played this, this turn. Because we can get something... We had a, we had two pair. We had that. And I think we had a pair as well. Definitely not gonna get any good points, but and at least get the pair. And that'll get a good multiplier, hopefully. That was horrible, especially at the end there. But, <laughs> but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Bellagio. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It mean the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah. Uh, don't forget to, you know, show some love to the developer of this game. Because obviously he's getting pretty screwed over by how they're treating Bellagio. And how the logic just is not logicking. It doesn't make any sense to what they're doing. But 
yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.